Hi hey guys, this is Sadeh from Robin.com and in this video, we will show you how to flash the latest One Y7 ROM onto Galaxy S20 FE. It supports both the 4G and 5G variant. Moreover, it's based on the S21 FE port. Likewise, these are the various ROM features. It also supports the routing of the ROM via the KSU Next app. I show you how to get the job done as well. And for the bugs, the uh, ultimate camera is currently not working. If that's all well and good. You could download the ROM file from this link and then let's get started with the ROM flashing and also thanks to all the ROM devs for making this ROM and the port as well. So on that note, let's get started. First off, download the latest Android SDK platform code from my guide and extract it onto a PC. You can do so anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the five platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, you now have to unlock the booter as well. So for that, okay, keep in mind that doing so will wipe off all the data and it will trip the NOx as well. If that's all well and good, you could you could have a look at my video as well or simply enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking first and foremost onto your phone. So for that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From there, go to about phone, software information, tap on build number seven times. Now go back, again go back, go to developer options from here and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Tap on OK as well. Let's now verify the debugging as well. So tap on allow first and now open the CMD window inside the folder of platform tools type in cmd over here and this will open the platform tools cmd window over here now type in adb devices and verify that you are getting an id if you're not having this id then unplug and replug your phone from the pc disable and re-enable usb debugging tap on revoke usb debugging use any other usb cable and use the usb 2.0 port on the pc so carry out you will be fixed and verify that you're having this id once you're getting this id let's move on with the next step so now you will have to enable OEM unlocking which you have done now boot the phone to the download mode and from there, long press the volume up key to go to the device unlock mode. Then once again, press the volume up key. And with this, you will now be inside. The booter will be unlocked onto your phone and then boot the phone to the OS. Once that is done, you will now have to bypass the wallkeeper as well. So for that, you have to be online and then make sure that OEM unlocking is shown here. In my case, I have unlocked the booter, but as you could see currently, the OEM unlocking is not shown here. So, so for now, I have not yet bypassed the wallkeeper. So let's establish a Wi-Fi connection. This will take a few seconds. So just give me a time. After that, okay, just give me a second. I will have to type in the password of Wi-Fi. Okay, in a few more seconds. It's now done. Once you've established the Wi-Fi connection, close it and now reopen the settings menu from here. Wait for a few seconds. Now go to the developer options and now you will see the OEM unlocking as well as you could see. So with this, we have bypassed the wall keeper. So let's now move on with the next step. So after the unlocking is done, you will now have to get hold of the Odin tool. Odin is required to flash the recovery file. So this is the Odin tool onto PC extract them as well. And you will get the following four files in the Odin. These are the files of the Odin tool as you could see. These are the files. Moving on, you will now have to move the phone to the download mode. For that, there are quite a few approaches, but the easiest one is simply type in the command of ADB, reboot, download. You may also use the hardware key combination, but for now I'm using the ADB command. All the steps are also Given in my article as well, you may have a look at this guide and then get the job done. For our phone, it's the volume keys. So you may have a look at that as well. But for now, let's use the ADB command. And once you are inside the download mode, you will now download the first of download the ROM file. And along with that, the recovery file as well and the view meta as well. So for that, just give me a second. I will link the files here as well. So this is the article of flashing the recovery file onto our phone just give me a second this should get the job done okay yes the recovery file should be over here and uh, scroll down a little bit okay so this is the recovery file for our phone download the official recovery file once you have got the recovery file also download the meta patch file as well this is over here once you have got both the files let's load the file in the Odin tool as well so I will link this guide and you may then get hold of the recovery file from your phone as well from the official recovery site. Just let me get the job done as well. So from here, you will now download the recovery file from my this article. And this is the we made up tar file. Both the files are required. Once you've got both the files, launch the Odin tool. First off, okay, click, hit the option tab and go there. Okay, before that, verify that your phone is shown here in the COM port and in the lock section as well. As you could see in the COM port, my phone is now shown here in the com4 section so this signify that the my phone is not shown in the Odin tool so first off go to the option tab uncheck auto reboot this is very important 
नॉ हिट द ए बीम बटन एंड लोड द रिकवरी फाइल ऑन टू योर फोन द रिकवरी थी अब लो आप रिकवरी फॉर आर फोन दिस इज नॉट माई फोन ओके दिस इज माई फोन लोड द रिकवरी फाइल फॉर यूर फोन क्लिक ऑन ओपन देन इन द डेटा स्लॉट लोड दी बी मेटा फाइल विच इज दिस वन द पैच फाइल ऑफ बी मेटा क्लिक ऑन ओपन बोथ द फाइल शुड बी नॉट टार फॉर्मेट वन शिव गॉड बोथ द फाइल हिट द स्टार्ट बटन द फैशन विल नॉट स्टार्ट विल टेक अप टू अराउंड फोर टू फाइव सेकेंड्स ओनली वन से फ्लैशिंग हेजमेंट डन नो प्रेस एंड होल्ड दी वॉल्यूम डाउन एंड द पावर कीज फॉर फॉर सेवन टू एट सेकेंड्स एंड वेन दैट हैपन वन द फोन अबाउट टू अंडर गो रिस्टार्ट देन लेट गो ऑफ द कीज एंड देन प्रेस एंड होल्ड दी वॉल्यूम अप एंड द पावर कीज लेट मी शो यू वॉट आई मीन सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉर्म प्रेस एंड होल्ड दी वॉल्यूम डाउन एंड दी पावर कीज फॉर अराउंड सेवन टू एट सेकेंड्स कीप ऑन होल्डिंग बोथ द कीज एंड एज सुन एज द फोन इज अंडर गोइंग रिस्टार्ट लेट गो ऑफ द कीज लेट मी शो यू Now let go of the keys now and press and hold the power up and the volume the volume up and the power keys and keep on holding both the keys for seven to eight seconds as well and now you may let go of this key as well so first of press and hold the volume down and the power key then press and hold the volume up and the power keys and if you have done that right then the phone will now go to the recovery upper recovery in a few seconds but if you haven't pressed the key at the right time then the phone will go to the stock OS or the stock recovery in that case you will have to refresh the recovery by the Odin tool as well in my case the flashing is now done. and the the state okay it's very important in case of our s20 fe the recovery we have to wipe the following first first of do the format data after that this is a must likewise go back again go back go to advanced file and check mark the key data key refuge data and the metadata all these four have to be wiped it's very important so have to wipe one that is done go back go back go back reboot and recovery so wait for a few more seconds for the phone to boot to the recovery mode and once that is done you could then get the job done as well and now you may let's see the sd card is now shown here so now let's try to transfer a recovery file the rom file onto our phone and then we'll flash the the rom file as well so for that let's use the adb push command let okay my phone is shown here onto my pc that's quite well and good so simply you may do the copy paste as well simply copy the rom file from here and paste the rom file onto your phone because the phone is shown here and paste it over here but if the phone is not shown on the pc It's not a cause of any concern. Simply transfer the ROM zip file inside the folder of Platform Tools, and then use the command of this command. Let me show you. Just give me a second. Then use the command of adb push file name, which is ROM dot zip space forward slash sd card, and the ROM will be transferred. You may either use the USB mount, which I'm using currently, as you could see, or you may use the adb push command to do the file transfer. But please don't use the adb side load because side loading is used in the AOSP recovery and not in the WAP recovery. Keep this point in mind. Always use the adb side load. The recovery of Linux OS or C Android, but not in the Orange Fox TWRP recovery. In TWRP, or always use the ADB push command or the USB mount approach to get the job done. So with that said, let's not wait for the ROM to be transferred onto our phone. So guys, the ROM is now transferred. Let's flash it onto our phone. So let's unlock our device. Go to install. Choose the ROM zip file. Swipe to flash. The flash will now start and take up to around four to five minutes. So let's wait for that to happen. So guys, the flashing is now complete. Now. Just to be on safer side, please do a formatting once again. So go to wipe again, wipe, wipe, format data. Type in yes. Hit the blue check mark. This is compulsory. So please do a formatting before the ROM flashing and after the ROM flashing both the times. One that is done. Tap on the reboot system, and the phone will now boot to the OS. Do note that the first booting up will take up some time. That's all normal. So let's at least wait for the boot logo to appear. The boot logo will signify that the flashing has been done, and the boot logo will appear now in around I guess. 10 to 15 seconds. So let's wait for that to happen, and then we'll have a look at the ROM as well, and then we'll do our the booting of the ROM via the KSU Next app. This will take just a few seconds. In the meantime, just let me have a look at the KSU Next app, whether I'm having that or not. So I have to download the KSU Next app from the official GitHub page. So just give me a second, KSU Next. This is the official site. Okay, KSU Next. GitHub. This is their official web page from GitHub. Go to the release section, and from there, I will link this as well. If you want to obtain root, which is optional, you may flash the KSU Next app onto your phone as well. The APK should be over here at the end. Let's call that, and the APK will be given at the end of this link. This is quite a lengthy page, and this is the APK file. Let's download the APK file as well. I am again repeating this all optional. I will show you how to obtain root as well, and we have got the KSU Next APK as well onto our phone. We will onto our PC. We will then use the APK to obtain root as well. 
so this is the apk over here just i guess it should okay this is the apk file okay so next okay the phone should now go to the os in a few more seconds so right. guys for the first time my phone went into a boot loop you could say because the first time the phone did not boot up but that's all normal from the from the second time the phone is not inside the os as you could see the new one ui 7 so that's all normal please there's nothing to worry about it will take two boot up in the first time so let's now start up with the rom first of agree to all then agree and i will not restore the app data for now because that will take quite a lot of time let me skip all of that skip this as well if you want you may establish the wi-fi connection then restore all the data as well i am skipping all of that to save some time let's accept the terms and condition and skip all the other stuffs i agree this as well this for the first let's go with the dark theme i just love the dark theme i don't know why anyways let's move on with the next step and let me uncheck this i don't want this and we are now all set up and with this we are now inside the os the latest one ui 7 rom allow and it the the new ui you could see over here this is the okay it has separate notification and qs styles type on okay on the right hand side you will only get the notification only get the qs styles that's it on the left hand side you will get all the notification but no qs styles you may also change this if you want but for now i will keep like this only and let's access the settings menu so the new revamp ui somewhat revamped only you could say and you also get all the galaxy i features the call assist writing assist interpreter note assist transcript assist browsing assist photo assist drawing assist no brief all of these are there in the one way seven hit the continue button and with this you also require the wi-fi for the first time usage of ai so please make okay not for the first time for all the times wi-fi is required to access the ai features and you may also use the themes and check out all the stuff for here the wallpapers icons aod you may also go online and get more themes onto your phone these are the wallpaper style section change the wallpaper choose the color palette as well from here and and the display motion smoothness high 120 hertz at all times standard will only get you 60 hertz that will save some battery but it's not a viable option for me lost in an aod as well you may tweak all of them no bar okay that is there that's quite great to see let me just see no bar also requires the i guess wi-fi for the first time okay now it's working no brief you may choose the content for you in the no brief and they will show all the same contents only let me as you could see it's the knob breeze show the live score live traffic but the live weather conditions and all such stuff view more and you could see all of these notifications and in the knob brief you may also get okay now it's a knob bar and in the knob brief also we have a few content to choose from the media player emergency sharing then apart from that you may also have a look at all of these features yourself just let me check out two features the first one is the camera whether it's working or not the camera is working well and good i have to clean the camera lenses it's quite dirty but it's all working well and good let me show you a sample of the camera yes the camera is working and the photo is also somewhat nice you may also use the gcam if you want with the xml file the xml config file you also have the pin for Gemini app as well onto your phone and circle to search is currently not there I suppose okay that is there as well it's quite a handy feature you have to be online once again to search for this and apart from that all the tweaks are currently working without an issue whatsoever on this phone okay let's now try out the KSU routing so for that install the get hold of the KSU APK file from this link the official page of github I will share the link on my article as well over here you must simply get hold of the apk file once you've got the apk file let's transfer the apk file onto our phone and then obtain root this is the ksu next app s20 fe likewise let's use the sus fs mod as well but first let me see, see whether it supports the sus fs or not first let's install the ksu next to obtain root internal storage essentially now all the files ksu next settings allow from this source install the apk of case next tap on ok unknown apps blocked security and privacy should be there only and over there auto blocker okay this is over here app security auto okay turn this off 
and now you will able to install the apk file it's unnecessary so much of limitations is placed in this rom i don't know why all thanks to samsung okay now you will install the app it's now up and running we have got the root as well it supports susfs i am not quite sure it's not shown here anyways you may flash all the rom from the module from this section and the super user enable the root for this from this section let me show you an example of a file it will take just a few seconds for example let's use the termux app and place the app over here place the app now let's install the apk file of the termux app okay it's over here in case of magis when you use a routing app you automatically get a su prompt that is not the case with the ksu next app if you type in su hit enter in case of magis you will get a su prompt but you will not get any prompt over here in case of ksu next so in that case you will have to manually apply the root permission open the ksu next app go to super user and from here you will have to give it the root access well 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 it's not shown here any apps i guess a restart is required so give me a few seconds i will do a restart and then i'll be back okay the phone is now booting to the os let me have a look at the ksu next once again oh this is the app let's now see the super user tab okay again it's not working i don't know there is some issue with this okay now it's working simply you have to now choose the app hit the super user in turn on this toggle of super user next to the app and now you'll be able to see we could easily use all the app without that issue now if i open the termux app type in su now i've got the root permission so you'll have to manually give it the root permission to each and every app always keep this point in mind from the type of super user so please do that because you will not get the su prompt automatically you'll have to manually give it the su request over here so guys that's just about it if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching